What's up everybody, I'm Hayden Adams with The Designer Who Codes, and we're taking some time in Photoshop to discuss image size and canvas size. Let's have the talk about how to use each one and the differences between the two. First off is image size, Command Option I on the Mac. Let's hit that, and what we get is the dimensions. In this picture is 4016 by 4016. I really only use image size to do one thing, go down in size. I never go up in size because to me, that's creating pixels out of thin air. And while there is what's called interpolation and you kind of can do it, I don't recommend it. So whenever I work in Photoshop and image size, I'm always thinking about how to go down in size. So if this picture has to be, let's say 2000 pixels or lower, what I'll do is, is I'll type 2000 pixels I almost always keep this link because what it does, it'll say basically constrain the aspect ratio to the width and height respectively. Nowadays, also the resolution doesn't really matter as much when it comes to web design. Photoshop in terms of density is different than pixel resolution. Resolution is more for printing when it comes to how many dots per inch make up an image when you come to print it. On the web, we have 1x, 2x, 3x, which is basically saying how many pixels can fit into a said section of space, which is what you hear the term retina screen for. So when it comes to working on the web, I just keep the resolution at a default of 72. That's what it was back in the early days, and that's kind of what it is now. But again, resolution is mostly moot because it's focusing on the amount of pixels you can stuff in a certain screen, with especially being Apple. With the resample, I have almost never touched this in the past 10, 15 years. I do understand how the bicubic sharper, how the nearest neighbor, how the bilinear works, but I really keep it on Matic. And so far, everything has worked fine. The image size, again, is mostly used to reduce the size of my photograph. If I have to say, okay, I need this picture to 1500 pixel width, then I'll set it to 1500 pixel width. That's the almost the only reason why I like using image size. I don't want to go bigger. It's only going to go smaller. So when I hit the OK button, when it says 2000 and 2000 versus 4000 plus, I hit OK. This picture resizes. Now, here's the difference between image size and canvas size. The image size literally goes up or down like an elevator. It doesn't remove, add or take away anything. Now, the downside is that if I do take off that little link icon, I say, you know what? I want this 2000 pixels by 4600 pixels height. It will inherently squish the picture. So it won't take away pixels, but it'll squeeze it or squish it or stretch it in long ways, sideways, front ways, and back ways. So, in terms of image size, you won't lose any data. You'll just compress, move, squish it. The difference now comes into canvas size. Canvas size refers to the overall size of the canvas of this image. It's kind of hard to see in this picture, but actually there is a canvas behind this picture. Let's do something a little different. I'm gonna hover to background, and what I'm gonna do is, where'd it go? There it is, oh, different screen, that's better. I'm gonna change this new layer not to background, but to layer zero. And what I can do is now create a new layer Put that behind layer zero. And if I turn off layer zero, this is our canvas. The picture really just sits on top of the canvas at the end of the day. So we work with canvas size. We're working with this extra space. The picture is on top of it. And yes, the image does resize the canvas. However, when we're focusing on canvas size, we're thinking about the physical space of this image. Let's go ahead and turn on layer zero again, and then this can give us a better example of how canvas size really works. Up to image and canvas size, command option C on the Mac. And of course it pops up on my other monitor. Not quite sure why, but let's just go with it. Canvas size, different breed. Here's how I use canvas size. I really use it to expand out the space around the image. So it says width of 4016 and 4016. What I'll do is usually I want double something, either the double the width or double the height. Here's the great part about the new version of Photoshop. What was great in Illustrator and InDesign is I could use mathematics. 
4016 times 2 is just 4016 asterisk 2 tab key, and it now becomes 8000. Let's take a look at that. Notice what happened. It put space on either side. Now, to make this a little more easier to understand, let me hit Command Z, hit Command Option C, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing multiply times 2, tab key for the width, but now I'm going to anchor the existing content over to the left hand side. Notice now how this picture is double the size in terms of canvas. The picture hasn't grown, but that empty space now has. If I want to then duplicate layer zero, drag this guy over, and just so we can see it a little difference, what I'll do is apply, let's throw some curves on this guy, use previous layer, and that's a little better. Notice how that space is perfectly double sized over to here. This is the magic of canvas size. It will expand out. While image size I use for mostly contracting or resizing the picture, I use canvas size more to increase the space I need for an image. I will use the crop tool. Come on, back to ratio size. If I want to specifically crop a picture to a certain size, the canvas size also does the same thing where I can say, you know what, cut this by a third. Yep, it won't we'll say it's a perfect number. There we go. So in theory, if I were to resize this by one third, or excuse me, not resize, but bring down, now watch what happens. Yes, the new canvas size is smaller than the current canvas size. Some clipping will occur. Proceed. Oop, there it goes. Now the picture cropped. So unfortunately, we didn't resize. We took away or cropped down the canvas. And for me, in terms of canvas size, it's hard to tell exactly the size I want to make it unless I'm being required by a certain web application to say you must make this picture, let's say 5,000 pixels by 3,000. But again, the problem is that this is going to crop my picture, not resize it. So in general, I like to go up in size, not down in size. And that's the two big differences between canvas size and image size. I think of canvas size as expanding my canvas because by using canvas size, I now have two pictures, one on the right and one on the left. And using the multiplication inside canvas size, I was able to do a perfect multiplication to double the size. But I'm also curious, how do you YouTube viewers, how do you use image size and canvas size? Is there even better way that you found to use it? To me, I use image size to go down and canvas size to expand my canvas. Have you found better solutions in your world where you really leverage the power of canvas size in a particular way? If so, drop me a comment below. And if you're loving this video, please hit that like button. I know that's cliche on YouTube these days, but still it means the world to me that you liked this video. As always, I'm Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes.